Hi, boys and girls. Guess who I am? I'm Mother Goose. I'm sure that you know that, right? I'm so happy that you're here today to listen to our first story time with Mother Goose. It's going to be an exciting time. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. I brought my little Mother Goose Goose with me today. And if we have a little time at the end of the show, I'm going to have her sing a few nursery rhymes for you. Today, I'm going to read a wonderful story. It's The Ice Cream Cow, and it is by Mel LeCompte, Jr. What do you do with a cow that does not moo? And I know you're going to enjoy this story as much as I have. Can we begin now? Guess what? I have an ice cream cow with polka dots. She hops like a kangaroo. My cow lives on a farm with a chocolate chip chicken and a hot fudge bunny too. She is the color of vanilla ice cream with a cherry on top. Her best friend is a duck that swims in a lake made of soda pop. The duck swims around going quack, 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 while she flaps her feathers too. Now, can all of you say that with me? Quack, quack, quack. Let's do it one more time. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, that was really good. Thank you. The bunny eats a carrot and the chicken goes cluck. Now, can you all say that with me, too? What does the chicken say? Cluck, cluck, cluck. That was good. Thank you. But the cow, she does not moo. See the ice cream cow? So what do you do? with a cow that does not moo. What do you do? Hmm, let's think about that. What do we do with a cow that doesn't moo? The ice cream cow cannot moo. Can you? Now here, you can help me again. I want everyone to say, moo. Let's do it again. Moo. Now one more time. I know you can do it. Moo. That was really good. One more time. Moo. As loud as you can. Moo. Y'all are doing such a wonderful job today. I know they all can moo. They can moo and will not stop. I know they all can moo. They can moo, but can they hop? Do you think that they can hop? Now everyone say this with me. Hop, hop, hop. Everyone again. Hop, hop, hop. And one more time. Hop, hop, hop. Now, can you hop up and down when you're listening to this? Ready? Hop, 
Hop, hop. That's very good. Stop. Okay, it's time to stop. I have an ice cream cow with polka dots. She hops like a kangaroo. If you listen very closely on the farm tonight, You just might hear a moo. Everyone say that with me two more times. You just might hear a moo. And one more time. You just might hear a moo. And that is the end of the story. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? I just love this book, The Ice Cream Cow by Mel LeCompte, Jr. So what do you do with a cow that does not moo? Well, this book tells you all about it and how wonderful it is to help this ice cream cow along. Now, to keep in touch with the Moondoggies Nation, your mom and dad can sign you up as a friend of the author at myspace.com slash Moodoggies, M-O-O-D-O-G-G-I-E-S. And this is a place where you can find more stories by Mel LeCompte, Jr., songs by Mel, and the Moondoggies crew. So you definitely want to check that out. Have your mom or dad help you with that. This is such a wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And then the next show that I have with Storytime with Mother Goose, this is another story that's by Mel LeCompte, Jr., and it's called T-Boy and the Terrible Turtle. Doesn't that sound like a fun book to read? One rascal reptile's trip across the Bayou State. Do you know what the Bayou State is? That's Louisiana, of course. So this is the book that I'm going to be reading for the next show, and I know you're going to enjoy it, too. Now, would you like to hear a little bit of songs from My Little Mother Goose here? Let's see. Maybe you can help sing along with her. Here, sweetheart. I'm going to tell you some of your favorite nursery rhymes. Let's start off with Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Dumpty. I don't know why. Humpty Dumpty had a great ball. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, that was good. How about Hickory Dickory Dock? We know that one too. Hickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Jack and, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Oh, I know. Let's do Little Bo Peep. <gasps> Little Bo Peep lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone, and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Twinkle, 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 little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Did you enjoy that? Oh, thank you. Did you enjoy that as much as I did? I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I've been very busy. Mother Goose was at some events today. Um, I do some Easter events. And also I had one this morning 
at the local university, UL, for their alumni. And then I'm here today for you, of course. And then tomorrow, I'll be at another Easter event where we'll be doing some egg decorating and dyeing. So I just enjoy doing these things with all of you, and I hope that you're enjoying the show too. The other things that I have are I have fairy tales uh, that I carry around in my basket all the, all the time when Mother Goose goes around, and also I have another book that's some nursery rhymes, and it's a treasury of nursery rhymes. And I always have those available, and I take those around with me all the time. Now, you've heard of Mrs. Santa Claus before, haven't you? Well, Mrs. Santa Claus, her real name is Rosie Claus. Did you know that she's my sister? And I, my first name is actually Posey. So her name is Rosie, and my name is Posey, and we're sisters. She actually gets, goes around, too, quite a bit at Christmas time. I don't get to see her much during the year, but I'm always around. You can find me all year round. I'm always there. Then I have another sister, and she actually is a fairy godmother. And her name is Josie. So all of our names are similar. There's Rosie Claus, and there's me, Posy. And then, of course, there's Josie, who is the fairy godmother. And she makes all your wishes come true. I would love to tell you some more stories, and I'm going to be doing that all the time. I'll have new books by new um, authors from the area, and I will be reading those all the time, and you'll be able to watch me each, each and every week. And I hope you've been, you'll enjoy it as much as I do. It's been so wonderful. So, this book, That Ice Cream Cow, is just a lovely book, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it myself. The author, actually, is a, from New Orleans, and I didn't even know that. And he loves this area. So we have this wonderful book today that we can share. So, okay. Well, I think we'll be talking to you maybe in a little bit with another story. So hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. And we're going to let her sing again for you. Here, sweetheart, I'm going to tell you some of your favorite nursery rhymes. Let's start off with Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the good horses and all the good men couldn't put Humpty together again. <gasps> well, thank you so much. Can I read a quick little story for you? from my nursery rhyme treasury. I know that you, you may know this. Now, some of you might not even know who Mother Goose is, but now you will know because you're meeting me today, and I'm so happy to be with you. And this is actually my collection of favorite nursery rhymes. So now I have this wonderful ice cream cow, the ice cream cow book, which I truly am enjoying. And also, I'll be having this other book that's a wonderful book, The T-Boy and the Terrible Turtle. And it's just some wonderful books by Mel LeCompte, Jr. And I'm so glad that we have them today on our first show. Then the treasury we have right here, let's see what we can do. Is it okay that I read you another story? Now, these are some stories that I've written as Mother Goose. So, but let me tell you some classic rhymes that I have that I think you'll enjoy. Now, do you know some of these that I'm going to mention? Let's see. We have Humpty Dumpty again. 
And we're gonna do it again without our little goose this time. We have Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Then we have Jack and Jill, which our little mother goose helped sing that too a moment ago. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Up Jack got and home did trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed to mend his head with vinegar and brown paper. Let's see, Mary Mary, quite contrary. Do you know that one? Mary Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. There's a was a little girl. That's another cute one for me to read to you. There was a little girl and she had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. When she was good, she was very, very good. But when she was bad, she was horrid. What about, let's see, rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play. Have you ever heard of these before? If not, I'm sure your mom and dad know these stories. Let's see, what about Little Miss Muffet? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Rub-a-dub-dub. Rub-a-dub-dub. Three men in a tub. And who do you think they got there? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. They all jumped out of a rotten potato. It was enough to make a man stare. <laughs> We have another one that's called Cobbler, Cobbler, Mend My Shoe. Cobbler, Cobbler, Mend My Shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. Now, do you know Seesaw Marjorie Daw? Seesaw Marjorie Daw, Johnny shall have a new master. He shall have but a penny a day because he can't work any faster. Now this is another favorite one of mine. There was an old woman who lived in the shoe. There was an old woman who lived in the shoe. She had so many children she didn't know what to do. So she gave them some broth without any bread and she whipped them all soundly and sent them to bed. Tom, Tom, the piper's son. Tom, Tom, the piper's son stole a pig and away he ran. The pig was eat and Tom was beat and Tom went roaring down the street. Old King Cole was a merry old soul and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe in the middle of the night, and he called for his fiddlers three. Every fiddler had a very fine fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with King Cole and his fiddlers three. What I'd like to do, if it's okay with you, Go back to the ice cream cow for a moment. What do you do with a cow that does not moo by Mel LeCompte Jr. And I didn't get a chance to really show you any of the pictures. So I want to do that right now if you're okay with that. 
The pictures are so lovely in here and so colorful. And this way you'll really get to see the ice cream cow. See? There's an ice cream cow with polka dots. Isn't that lovely? Have you ever seen anything like that before? I'm sure not. I haven't seen anything like that. And this, this ice cream cow jumps like a kangaroo. I've never seen that before either. It's a special cow. And this cow, as I mentioned before, lives on a farm with a chocolate chip chicken and a hot fudge bunny. Now, have you ever seen a chocolate chip kick chicken or a hot fudge bunny? I don't think so, I've never seen that. But it's a lovely, lovely book about these wonderful animals. And the ice cream cow is the color of vanilla ice cream. And she has a cherry on top of her head. <laughs> Almost like a Sunday. And of course, we know that her best friend is a duck. That's, it's in the duck swims in the lake. And the lake is made of soda pop. And the duck swims around and says, quack, quack, quack. Now, can you say that again with me again? Quack, quack, quack. And she says, quack, 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 and she flaps her feathers around, too. Now, the bunny eats a carrot, and the chicken goes cluck. Now, everyone has to say that again with me. Cluck. Everybody say cluck, cluck, cluck. But as we know already, the ice cream cow doesn't say moo, and that's so important. So remember, what do you do when the cow does not moo? Hmm, let me think. What do we do? The ice cream cow cannot moo. Can you moo? I would love to hear you again. Moo. 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 I can't hear you. Can you say it a little louder? Moo. 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 Oh, that's so wonderful. Thank you so, so very much. And I'm going, looking forward to reading the second book for you by Mr. Mel LeCompte, Jr., T-Boy and a Terrible Turtle, One Rascal Reptile's Trip Across the Bayou State. And remember what I told you. What is the Bayou State? The Bayou State is Louisiana, the state that we live in. And I look forward to reading this to you. I hope you're going to be watching again, okay? It's going to be so good. I just enjoy this so much. And T-Boy was a Louisiana kid, and he had a terrible turtle that ran away. So it's going to be a fun book for you to listen to. Well, thank you again, and I'll see you at the next show, Storytime with Mother Goose. Bye.